Hello everyone, and this will be a continuation of the previous video last week, uh, which we will be discussing on Red's Central Cannon versus Black's uh, Ranked Chariot with Lian Cannon Counter, which is an unorthodox counter. So without further ado, let us begin. Central Cannon, uh, Red develops the right chariot, which is considered okay, uh, but he develops his right chariot at, uh, for the second move. Now this is not a good idea because this flank will now be under attack by Red's foul chariot. And in response, Black could play CD equals to 7. Now in the previous video, we went over P5 plus 1, P7 plus 1. Now this were, these two variations did not seem to get the job done. Now in this video, we'll be going over H8 plus 9 and CD equals to 7. So in ships in the first variation of version C for this video, we will be going over uh, H shape plus nine. Whereby Red will develop his left horse as a um, red horse. Now this will allow Red to keep his options open of playing the five seven cannons or five six cannons or even move his cannon to the riverbank or pawn rank if need be. Red Black would simply ignore and consolidate his defense with E seven plus five. Black goes for the 5-7 uh, cannons and red will play c2 plus 2 in preparation for red's r9 equals to 8. Now this is a good idea. Uh, r1 equals to 6 would not be a good idea because if this was so, black would, red would develop his chariot forcing the cannon to move away and be able to patrol the riverbank uh, in a nick of time. Another, via, uh, another, another viable option would be to play C7, C7 plus 4 to capture the pawn and apply pressure on this uh, on Black's right flank. Just for example, if, red at, at, if Black attacked the horse, protecting the horse, and Red will link his cannons up, be prepared to play E7 plus 5 to dislodge the Black chariot, and Red would have the advantage. So as mentioned earlier, R8 plus 4 will also be a viable option. R6 plus 3. Trade on material, and after trading material, this horse will now be prepared to attack. So we would have the initiative. So that is why R1 equals to 6 will not be a good idea. Instead, Black should be versatile in his counter with C2 plus 2. And red sets a little trap with p7 plus 1. Now, it would not be a good idea to play r9 equals to 8 because the cannon will now have been moved to an open line. Black could simply choose to trade away this pesky cannon. And after trading cannons, the horse would be able to be developed. And red's horse uh, at the same time would now be unprotected. Now, this would be a depressing situation for red. So P7 plus 1 was a little trap set by Black, which Black must be careful. And he should play C2 equals to 7. It would be a bad idea to play R1 equals to 6 at this point, because Black will sacrifice his pawn, attack the cannon in this manner. Now, uh, Red will now be prepared to capture the horse and then the cannon, because the, the piece protecting the cannon will now also be under attack. So Black would have to retreat his cannon, but in doing so, give the red chariot, uh, give the red chariot a <laughs> open line and a chance to apply a lot of pressure on Black's formation. Now, if the horse moved away, uh, there are many things that Black could do. So he could retreat his cannon, etc., and still target the uh, still target the elephant. So C2 equals to 7 would be the advocated move for Black. Red develops his chariot as planned, and it would be after tackling the issue of the Black Cannon, Black would now move his chariot across the uh, palace and concentrate material. Now there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pieces, applying pressure on Red's right flank, where there are only 2 pieces left. Now, Black 
red tries to uh, gain some momentum, attacking black's weak right flank uh, in the process. Now, p3 plus 1 to dislodge the cannon would not be a good idea because black could happily trade away the horse and then attack the cannon again, forcing it away. If it if the cannon captured the pawn, black would play a shape plus uh, 6 to attack the cannon and get, gain further development and tempo. Uh, but black will continue with a shape plus 6 anyway, dislodging the black chariot, and black would choose to patrol the cross riverbank rank. And after sacrificing the pawn, Black would now trade chariots. Now Red would be placed in a predicament because this chariot would be threatening in many ways. And uh, Red's attack would have uh, would have resulted uh, would be would have been neutralized, and Black would have seized and commanded the initiative as he would now be protect threatening to capture the elephant. So Red cannot get cannot trade chariots either or this would be an immediate checkmate. So Red will be forced to move his chariot back and in doing so uh, Black would now have a very open position to maneuver his pieces. Uh, the pawn cannot advance or the horse will capture it. So that is why p3 plus 1 is not a good idea but neither would r8 plus 6 was uh, neither would R8 plus 6 be a good idea either because Black would simply attack, develop his material again. Now, in this in the book, uh, Red, at, Red in the book Red attempts to attack with um, C9 equals to uh, sorry H9 plus 7 uh, to protect the pawn and also hopefully develop his horse. But after trading chariots. The horse will still have will still not have any good place to continue maneuvering. Black would simply push p1 plus one again. After trading chariots, the ho horse will be protecting the cannon and prevent red from playing r7 equals to three. That would be red would thus be forced to retreat his horse, losing tempo in the process. Black could consolidate his defenses, and red was forced to switch formations to the cross spiders cannon formation but uh, again Red would, Black would now play R6 equals to 4 and this would be a standoff which Black would be very happy to have achieved now the issue of this horse has not been rectified it cannot move anywhere if it played H7 plus 9 Black would simply push the other pawn so um, both Black could, can be very satisfied with this situation, and that is why H8 plus 9 uh, is not considered to be a good idea. So, the best move for when facing the rank chariot with lane cannon counter would be to play R8, uh, C8 equals to 7. Now, C8 equals to 7, red would give black a taste of his own medicine and thus he targets the black horse. Now, of course, Black would up his defenses and protect the house in this manner. And Red would attack without any doubt uh, of by capturing the pawn. Now, this is a very powerful move that would place Black in uh, all sorts of trouble because this would be Black's uh, one of Black's major weaknesses in this formation. There are two major sub variations that were discussed. First would be p7 plus 1 and the other would be c2 plus 5. If p7 plus 1 was played as black tried to threaten the red horse, red would simply develop his left horse ignoring the threat. And red would try to offer a trade of material which black must not accept. Now what would happen if p7 plus 1 were played? Red would simply capture the cannon, trade of material, and black red would now capture the elephant to deliver a check and capture the horse. So at this point in time, 
Ray will have a significant advantage because now there will be nothing protecting the central pawn. Ray will be prepared to play c5 plus 4. So even if the pawn edge here, Ray will simply capture the central uh, central pawn and thus mount an attack that black cannot bear. Now, if p7 plus 1, sorry, sorry, if p7 plus 1 were not viable, neither would r1 equals to 2b because although the black chariot will now protect the cannon, black will be left with a rather awkward looking position. But instead of attacking, red will start his campaign on the central file. A prophylactic move. And Red would now move his horse to the central file. And Red would still have the advantage. Now, uh, because the black chariot was on the throat rank and not on the bottom rank, it would not be protected. So there was no fear of any capture or of any trade of material. And Red would now be prepared to, uh, to develop his horse with h5 plus 3 or h5 plus 7 for the tiger headed horse. Now, either way, this would be a very powerful attack that uh, Black would have trouble dealing with. So that is why c2 plus 1 has to be played. Now, and at this point in time, Red would shock Black with a very brilliant sacrifice. Now, this would be a move. A sacrifice to claim the initiative to mount an attack. Uh, Black captured the cannon. Red would uh, sacrifice the the horse and choose to attack the black horse in this manner. And after trading material, this horse will be forced to budge. And once it moved away, the central pawn will not be protected, and Red would capture it with any qualms. Now this at this point in time the only move that black can play would be to play a4 plus 5. If a6 plus 5 would play, black wins. The same goes for c2 equals to 5 as this will also be a checkmate. So that is why black would be forced to play a4 plus 5 but in doing so the right chariot and cannon will now be uh, compressed and be in a very awkward situation and black's left flank was had not been developed while the lone black horse cannot do much in this situation so black red will capture the elephant without any doubt uh, black tries to show dislodge the black cannon a uh, red cannon sorry and red will simply retreat his cannon and have a very powerful attack going on. The horse uh, cannot move or black would capture the elephant and this would be an even worse scenario for black. So red would have gained a lot uh, a lot after sacrificing his right horse. And that is why the P7 plus 1 variation would not be a good idea because red was prepared to sacrifice the horse all along. In the second sub variation, c2 plus 5 was played as black tried to uh, go for the knees and cut off the, any possible counter by red. So red was not ignored. And after trading the cannon, uh, after trading the cannon, uh, black would now, red would now be prepared to attack. Now, this would be a correct elephant to move because it would be imperative for Red to develop his chariot. Now, um, with e7 plus 5, Red can develop his chariot after playing a6 plus 5 as a kingside chariot. And this would be a significant advantage to Red. The black, cannot, uh, the black chariot cannot move r1 equals to 4 or he will lose the elephant. Uh, black would thus play r1 equals to 6. Black Red would prevent the black chariot from moving in here with this move and also be prepared to develop his left chariot as mentioned earlier. Now, black tries to attack, but unknowingly, this chariot cannot leave this file. Now, the time was ripe to mobilize material and Red would go ahead. But he should be careful, there's still some threats by black. Now black would now play uh, h8 plus 6 to develop his left flank. 
Now, he cannot play R6 equals to 7 because the check needs to be on this file. If so, red would retreat the horse. And if black continued to threaten, the red horse would simply advance as it was protected by the chariot. And once this horse is free to attack, black would be in even deeper trouble. So, red will now move the uh, move the horse to the riverbank, and he will enjoy a significant advantage. So, that is why black cannot be brash and capture the pawn as you uh, as you although it might be very enticing to do so. And Red continued his attack with a very brilliant R6 plus 8 to block the elephants, threatening to capture the elephant with the cannon. And if Black had moved, the horse cannot would not be protected. So the, the best move in this situation would be to play uh, E1 plus <coughs> E3 plus 1. Uh, Black cannot think that H6 plus 7 would be a, a brilliant trap. To gain material as he tried to uh, imprison the red chariot because red will simply play r2 plus 7. So uh, red cannot jump the gun and capture the elephant or black's trap will now, will now fail because black will be prepared to retreat the cannon no matter what. If the black if the red chariot moved, uh, this would be a trade of material. The, the black horse will still be protecting the elephant, and black can be very happy with this situation. So, if not, black would be, be prepared to play c7 minus 1 and gain a chariot. So, red would be in all sorts of trouble. So, that is why red must be vigilant and play r2 plus 7 to threaten the black cannon. And black will be forced to move the cannon away and capture the elephant at this point in time. So what would happen now if black would retreat the cannon? Instead of moving the chariot or offering a trade of material, red will move the cannon to the board corner and offer a sacrifice. After playing a after capturing the horse, red will now capture the central elephant and then the advisor. So it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 black pieces versus reds. 1, 2, 3, 4 pieces. But black's defense have been shattered have been, uh, and red would have many options to continue his attack with let's say k5 equals to 6 for the smothered checkmate. So at this point in time, red would also threaten the game material and if the horse were captured, uh, it would be the earlier sacrifice would now become a trade of red chariot for black's uh, horses. So black's defense will be, be torn apart and red can be very satisfied with this position. And that is why h6 plus, seven, uh, h6 plus 4 thinking that black could set a trap would be a very, uh, a very h6 plus 4 would be a very uh, naive thought by black because the trap would not work. Let's say if h6 plus 4 played, red would immediately counter with r2 plus 7. So, uh, he cannot, red also cannot let his guard down by capturing the cannon or black would gain material as he is prepared to play um, uh, c7 minus 1 to dislodge the, black, uh, the red chariot. If the red chariot moved, the, the cannon will be captured, so red will lose control of his attack and black would suddenly come out on top. So R2 plus 7 must be played, forcing the cannon to the palace corner. And now will be the now will be the right time for red to capture the elephant. And if black still insisted on gaining material, black will simply sacrifice. And after sacrificing material, he will deliver a check and capture the red chariot. Now, 
uh, sorry, the Black Advisor, and now the Red Chariot will now be prepared to checkmate with K5 equals to 6, followed by R6 plus 2. And Black's defenses will now be split apart, and the Black Horse will be captured again, so it will be, in, in fact, uh, Red's Chariot trading for the two Black Horses, and, Black would have, and Red would have gained a winning position in the process of doing so. So that is why Black cannot be naive and think that H6 plus 4 will be a trap that could work. And E3 plus 1 will be uh, Black's best bet at this point in time. So P3 plus 1, uh, Black tries to dislodge the Red Chariot. The, the, uh, Black tries to attack the Red Horse, preventing it from developing. But Red would have other ideas, uh, because there are two pieces on this file. Black cannot afford to trade material and have to, and has to protect the uh, cannon in this very awkward manner. And after doing so, the black red horse will retreat, again preparing to be developed R1, sorry, H1 plus 2 if need be. And as can be seen, black's material is very congested here. The horses do not have any good places for further development and neither would the cannon or chariots be. Red on the other hand can slowly take his time to push his pawn, etc, etc and attack in many very different ways. Uh, Black's formation is scattered and in a horrible position. So um, I think I missed the variation and I'll go back, sorry, uh, in the major variation, uh, this situation, sorry, uh, I forgot to mention that Black cannot play C2 equals to 3 because after trading material, Red would retreat his horse and now threaten to capture the cannon at the same time. So uh, now the two the red cannon and chariot will now be applying a lot of a lot of pressure on Black's rank. Uh, if Black did not want to uh, choose to protect the uh, trade the material in this manner, the horse will be left to move to the riverbank and attack. And again, this black horse will not have any good lines for development, and black will be in a very uh, awkward position. I'm sorry for, forget, for forgetting this variation. So a quick recap, we'll be doing it as black. Okay, in today's two variation, uh, red first the first red variation was H8 plus 9 but if black counted correctly especially dealing with the issue of this cannon black would be able to come out on tops sorry and after trading chariots red any threat of a red attack would now be neutralized Red will be forced to switch formations, but in doing so, Black would now have open lines for development and attack. And although this is a standoff, uh, Black can be very happy with this situation. In the last variation, or the recommended variation by the authors, it would be best for Red to adopt a, a land cannon of his own for the 5-7 cannons formation. Now this would be giving Black a taste of his own medicine by taking the Black Horse and there were two major variations after capturing the pawn. The first would be P7 plus 1 and the second would be C2 plus 5. Now in this P7 plus 1 formation, Black would be, sorry, Red would be prepared to sacrifice this horse if need be. And after sacrificing the horse, Black Red will continue to apply tons of pressure on Black's throat rank and bottom rank and also this flank. So after trading material, the horse is forced to move, but in doing so, the, cent the central pawn is given up and all hell break loose. So uh, it will not. Uh, Red will continue to capture the elephant and move his cannon to safety while maintaining a very powerful attack on uh, Rex formation. In the second variation, 
C2 plus 5 was played, but again, Red will have nothing to worry about as he will develop this chariot, which is the key part of his tactical, uh, tactical attack plans. And once the elephant was able to get, uh, the chariot was able to get to this elephant's eye, the, elef the black elephants would not be, would be unlinked and red will now be prepared to capture the black elephant. Again, as can be seen, Red attacked mercilessly. Black's formation was in a disarray. And at this point in time, um, Black could have a very awkward position over here. Uh, I'm sorry for the recording loss uh, earlier on. And uh, if you do like my work, please subscribe to my video, to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you.